Hey, everybody. Oh, thanks for the follow, Pax, man. Uh, I thought you were already following me. Oh, whatever. I'm going to be playing some demos today. Um, and looking at your channel, Pax, man, I should get back to some Mario Maker. It's been far too long. I still want to build the rest of that world. I just, uh... I got into like a weird like creative slump with it so I just I got to get back there and do some more with that anyways uh, if you're watching later on in the on-demand versions of this whether it's YouTube or on the past broadcast tab I'd appreciate it if you took the time to watch live you know it, it helps out the channel a lot more than watching it after the fact and uh, I'd appreciate talking to y'all you can talk in the chat I definitely respond as much as I can with all that being said, we're going to be playing Dragon Quest Builders, the demo version, first of all, today. Uh, where we're going to go from there? I don't know. I'm going to keep this a pretty chill stream. I've had a very long day. But you know what? It's been it's been alright. I got plenty done, so that's always good. Oh yeah, in fact, I did something right before I got on here, so let me uh, write that down. Check. Ooh, audio levels are pretty high on this one, so let's let's bump that down. That should be good. I'll I'll keep an eye on it as best I can. With these demos, you know, there's always the possibility that uh they'll be a bit high. Game settings. Game settings. Uh yeah, let's do that real quick. Uh look up or down. Uh sure. LR, that makes sense. Uh, vertical inverted. Thank you. Show outlines on vibration feature, background at uh, message speed. Crank it up as fast as it can be. Yep, that should be good. I am very happy with those settings. Um, oh yeah, and customize character. Let's go female, hair, giver. Or some green hair. That seems very, uh, Dragon Quest. Make around there, I think. And then make the eyes blood red. Actually, let's make them, like, white. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, that works for me. Yeah. It's just the demo, so, I mean, I don't have to be too married to it. Uh, from the beginning. Oh, that's right. I have played this demo before back in the back in the day. It's a pretty chunky one, so it'll probably get us through to the first break. Oh God. So thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. I think I accidentally turned the uh, text slower, even though it was a higher number. Thou wishest not for half the world. Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Iggy, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Okay. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Well, all right. Let me get up. Iggy, my child, you have finally awoken. 
Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving. Use the left stick to move around and be a jump. 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 Hold on. Ah. I was hoping to pause to see if I could uh, speed up the text. Thank goodness. All seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Iggy, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? And I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but is not the fate of the world more important than... No, my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Let's go get them. Jump, jump, jump. Nice. Good. Iggy, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Sure, pal, whatever. Let me go. Let's get building. Build. Healing cream. Build. Nice. Wonderful. You have made your first creation. Iggy, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now, use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press X to use tools and it items. Hmm. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Healing creams. Do you feel better now? I see the color is returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Iggy, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... Hmm. Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. Well done, Iggy. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. I did it. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. Iggy, my child, you have been entrusted with a divine mission, too. Hmm. I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more of... 
Uh, very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press A to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. No, oh, the Elgato's gone out. Hold on a moment. Yeah. Only takes a second. Sorry, folks. Come on now. Come on now. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Iggy, my child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Iggy, you're not asleep, are you? Uh, perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Whack. I did it. Give me some dirt. Give me that dirt. Nice. Well done, Iggy. That should be enough. Press X to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Okay. Yep, I gotcha. Let me just... Gotcha. Boop! Is that it? Are you proud of me? Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Hey, whoop. Mm. There we go. I feel like I didn't need to get ten of those, but okay. Well done, Iggy. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Iggy, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt. And the people of Alephgard arise ri 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 once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you, and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubis, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and Iggy, there is one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. The Cantlin Plains, the Ravaged Realm. Whoa, we got evil trees. We got scorpions. That does me of rocks. It's pretty cool. The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Iggy, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alephgard arise once more. To this end, 
I bestow unto you a gift. There's a flag. I mean, kind of some cloth on a stick. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Piggy obtains the banner of hope. <coughs> oh, okay. Let's let's do that now, man. That. I didn't expect that light, that uh, voice to go on for so long. Ooh, I'm a little roughed up now. Should be okay. A slime. A friend. A friend. Come back. Come back, be my friend. Oh, oh, they're doing their own thing. Friend. Hey. This is horseplay. I won't stand for it. Hmm, milk blossom. Well, I guess they don't want to be friends. That's your loss, buddy. Splat of blue goo. Ew. So, if you haven't figured it out, this is basically a third person Dragon Quest Minecraft. Whatever. Minecraft is fun, so it's like. It would only make sense that there would be, uh. Imitators eventually. I think there's also like a Lego game like this, Lego Worlds or something. Here we go. Oops. There we go. Yeah, this does look really good. And this is the first game. I know you uh, played mostly the second game, so this is. Ooh, this is something else. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child. Here's one already. Is it a slime? Can I have a slime friend? Huh? Ah, who's that? Hey, hey. Who the heck are you? What are you doing in my place? Wait. Talk. What's this fly flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here. Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember. The goddess told you to come here. So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. It's not suspicious in the slightest. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Iggy, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of this dilapidated house save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L and below you by holding R. Hold down X and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge in these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Five blocks of earth. I gotta reset the Elgato again. Hold on. Yeah. Sorry about this, folks. Hopefully we won't have to do it too many times, but, uh... <coughs> this... Yeah, this game does not seem to work out so well. Alright, above with L. X? Oh, wait, I gotta... There we go. There we go. Do it. Do it. Eh. There. Iggy completed Pippa's request. How you doing, Pippa? Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're good as new. Ah, uh, you fixed it with dirt. I thought you were just a weird girl with voices in her head. But you completely flicks that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Yeah, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me.
I'm not entirely sure what Pippa's accent is supposed to be, but I'm working with it. Hey. Appel. Appel. Uh. Right, that's the button. Plumbery. That's one thing, is this has a, um, I know that, like, that you can do combat in Minecraft, but this feels like it's actually designed for combat, because it has a dedicated combat button. Minecraft was basically mostly about building more than anything, and then later they added more combat focus, and it shows in that design. Oh, what do you got, Pippa? No, Pippa. Pippa! You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix that old house like that. But how did you do it? What? You've got the power to build new things? What does build mean? Iggy, my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house off the dish, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Uh, but I can't see any torches lying around here. Besides your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and give a reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors! Splats of goo. Broken branch. Okay. Oh, let me grab this before it despawns. Build. Torch. Build. Yep, yep. Pippa! Hi! Where did you find that torch? You didn't find it. You built it. Oh, so that's what building means. She picked up stuff from around here and somehow... Change it into a torch, right? Uh, thanks. I think I understand, sort of. Yeah, Minecraft combat is very clunky, but that's because it's like, it was mostly meant for defense against mobs. You weren't really meant to, like, go out and start fights. For the most part, it was mostly about the actual building. Hi, do you think you might be able to build anything with dish? If you need any more, see if I can find some. I'm trying to do a Cogni, but I, I very often slip into Australian when I'm doing Cogni. That's incredible. I'll just realize something. You never told me your name. Also blowing out the mic a little bit. Whoops. Iggy? <laughs> what kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you have any special powers at all. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, Iggy, you've still got those torches you made, right? You should put one in the house. A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. A roof is not necessary, apparently. Press X to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house! Let's do it. Also, uh, you can jump in this game. That's... that's pretty satisfying. It's a very nice jump, too. It's not like, uh... Like, that's my one of my problems with Minecraft's uh, movement system, is that the jump is very heavy. X. 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 No, wait, that's a stick. What am I doing? X. Amount of space. Uh, X. Sure. It's an empty room. Wow, look at that. Ah, I did it. Brilliant. Now it's all lit up. The little room's perfect. You're amazing. You, you really do have special powers. It's hard to believe it's someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? You say that a lot for someone who does exactly that. Anyway, thanks, Iggy. Now we have somewhere to whiff. I don't know. I, the W is too much. That's too much. <laughs> Seed of life. Well, now what do you want, Pippa? Let me let me talk to her. Hi, Iggy. Thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? I don't know. Maybe you could build something. 
Icky, my child. You must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. Unless... Uh... This time, Iggy, I shall leave it to you to gather materials you need to build the straw mattresses young Pippa requires. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Iggy, are you alright? Eureka, Iggy works out how to make a straw mattress. Cool, uh, I got nine, is that enough? Let's, let's check. Um... Yes, that's enough for two. There we go! Iggy! That's right, it's Iggy. Listen. Listen. Need any of you like that? It's alright, whatever. It. Um, I don't even know. Uh, uh, there. And one more. There. The empty room turns into a basic bedroom. Wow, would you look at that? Wow, you built something to sleep on. Thank you, Iggy. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed. Yeah, you already told us this. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you and more powerful monsters emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base. Rest your head upon a pillow and sleep until morning. Iggy, my child. You discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I bestowed onto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is a wonderful, powerful you have. It should no doubt prove and ever valuable to you in your quest. Rebuild a city. Icky? Hello? Icky? Was the guy speaking to you? You were staring off in a space with your mouth open again. You've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Icky. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Hmm. I did it. I got two sticks. Open. Close. Stick. So, what do I do now? Oh my, what's Pippa need? Iggy, can I ask you something? With all this wandering around collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Huh? No, it's not just me. It's not my tummy rumbling, you must be hearing things again. But anyway, look, there are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small, they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you go and get some plumberries for me, Iggy? Please? We'll need at least five for a decent meal. A plumberry is a small... I'm just gonna stop reading all of those. <clears throat> uh, okay, I already have three. Oh, and there's three more. Perfect. Four. Oh, I didn't even notice the other one. Hello. Hey, you found so many plumberies. Can I have them? Yeah, sure. Make a soup. Right, thanks. You just tell you I'm actually really, really hungry. Yeah, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. Iggy's tummy starts to rumble. Indubitably. Oh, there's another. What do you want? You know, Iggy, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all the trees and grass and stuff and use the materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're gonna have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Why, well, it's a secret. Hehe, <laughs> but you should still make something to put all your stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Uh, a chest, I'm guessing. Da ding Yep, there it is. Branches. Alright, let's go look at the recipe. Or actually, whoa, whoa! I just hit plus. Uh, wow. It's a great view. Um, no, I want this one. No, this one. No, this one. Yes. Recipes. Chest, three broken branches, already got them. 
Don't even got a forage. Chest. Iggy makes a chest. There we go. Let's, I guess, plop it down. Or let's see where she wants it. Well, you made a chest. Now you can put all the stuff you've collected in there and go and collect even more stuff. You know, Iggy, there's something I've always wanted. What exactly has happened to this world? They say that the lot was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. I don't think it really counts as a town if it's one building. Uh, but we'll need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agree. We're going to build the biggest, best city in the whole wide world. I have a Think about what we need to build, and you'll build it. You are going to help me, aren't you, Iggy? Aren't you? I mean, hopefully. Here we go. I'm going to put the chest here. Open. All right, put away... Put away all this stuff. Actually, I will keep that. Never know. And, uh... Seed of Life. Oh! I just wanna... I just wanna use that. Use. Nice. So, okay, what do you need next? Whoops. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Well, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Iggy, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn? Please? Pretty please? It seems that your example has awoken the thing. Blueprints. Press X, and then minus, and then pleat, and sure, the replace it all. Hmm. Well, with a workbench, you could use that mason's workstation in a flag. You'll probably have to bash it up a bit before you can move it. Oh, and the room will need a door to get in and out and a torch or something to light it up. But you can make things like that from raw materials, right? The picture. Make me a workroom. Make me a workroom. Okay. Here we go. Uh, whoa. Okay, so... I'm gonna presume that one of these rooms is gonna just kinda match up with it already? Or is it the one we already did? Nah. Well, I'll just... I'll make it around that. Why not? Maybe. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna make it like... Uh, well... Come on, there's got to be a spot where this fits, right? This is a tutorial area or whatever. Sit there. There. I'll do it in the larger area here. But we're going to make the door over here. Got to be one square over... Yes. Not enough space. Yes, not enough space. Okay, I guess I do have to do it over here. I don't know. Here, I guess. Yeah. Not enough space. Okay, I guess I gotta break some stuff? Maybe. Right here. Uh, well, I guess we'll get to it. Come on. Get it. Yeah, get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. Just gotta, just gotta break it all up. 
Wow. This is a, yeah, this is a very hefty demo. I might need to uh, take a break probably through this one. I might do another small demo, I think. Uh, I think I have a Picross one. I could just, like, laze about with that one. I know Picross. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how's that? Nearly. Yeah, quite nearly. Hmm, okay, I gotta take out a couple more from here. Well, I can't take that, so... We're gonna have to go one further on this side. There we go. All right, so let's... Yeah, let's lay out the frame here. Uh, yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, I mean, yeah. Very, very methodically. Just gonna fill this in. Why not? It's a chill time. I ain't here. I ain't here to... speed run this. I just wanna... And get done. Want to get it done eventually. Alright. Oh geez, it's getting late. There we go. Oh, oops. Gotta go around. Come on now. Almost. Two more, and then torch. Uh, I need the workbench. There we go. First Mason's workstation. And we're gonna put that right there. I think a chest, so let's just take the chest from over here. I didn't have that much stuff in it, so, you know, no big loss. And a door. How do I make a door? Receipts. Straw door. I need grassy leaves and a broken branch. I need one more broken branch. Wait, I have two, so I should be able to build that, right? Yeah. And what's up? Oh, I only need one. I gotcha. Almost there. And then we're just gonna drop some of this stuff in. Uh, 
And then, uh... There we go. The tidy up is what I wanted to do. Okie dokie. And time go sleep. Time go sleep. Sleep. I made you a work room. Oh, yeah, here's my work room coming along. Make sure you build it just like the picture I do, alright? Place the blueprint on the ground. I did that. Craft the bonfire. It's, you will require a certain amount of blue goo. It's being collected from the maze slimes to populate this land. Now go, my child, strike. Uh, I did it, though, bro. I'm done. Oh, uh, they don't want to tour his bonfire. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, what do I need for the bonfire? I need another broken branch. Okay, I can find that. Here we go. Bam, right there. Broken branch. Bonfire. And we're gonna place it. No, place. Whoops. No, let me do the thing. There we go. I did it. It's incredible. All right, you built the rock room I asked for. Thanks, Iggy. It's just like the one in my picture. After the inhabitants seek to assist, the blueprints, look for look for the stuff you need. Yep. I'm going to use my new work room to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. Chorus Cluth. All right, what's next? But thanks again for the work we're making. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild a sea. There's not going to be much of a sea with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man looking around nearby. He looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and rushed right here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. He was on the other side of the mountains last time I saw him. Go and find him again and get him to join us. Make good use of your compass. Cool. Okay. So we gotta go to the other side of the mountains. I'm guessing these mountains. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, before I go out, I should probably make another cypress stick. And plenty of plumbery. <coughs> Ooh, I am getting hungry. I'm t almost two loaves down out of five. Let's see here. Give me the stick. Ooh, oaken club. Mmm. Okay, so that would mean that I gotta... Yeah, equip. Oh, and I can switch between them. Well, I'll finish off the cypress stick then. I'm going around the mountains. I wonder what we'll find. I'm going around the mountains. Come on now. I feel like I'll probably need these petals at some point, so may as well. Get them. Get them. Give me your blue goo. Thank you. I appreciate your sacrifice, what's to say? There's an old worn signpost here with the words, my pledge, emblazoned at the top. 
There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? I guess. How many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness? Monsters roamed the land unchecked, and even my dear home, the city of Cantalin, hath only fallen. Twas but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now, fewer and fewer of our people are literate. For so long did we take that most dear and precious power for granted that without it we are undone. But if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, hold on. Need a little water. At least I can record it. To this end, I resolve to travel to the lands of Alephgard and take note of what has befallen mankind. May this notice stand testament to my vow. I intend to collate the records of my journey into a book, which I shall title A Passage to Tantagel. I invite all who read this pledge to follow in my footsteps and seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee in all of the things it said. So, Reginald Augustus Green's Cantlin Brigade of Guards. Oh, we got bones. Give me those bones. I can't have the bones. Oh, okay. Hey, a bonfire. I'll break that and take it with me. Give me your flames. Give me your flames. Freshly stoked. New quest marker. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I'm pointing towards it. Oh, jeez, these guys. Oh, jeez, this guy. Chimera. Okay. I'll accept that. Chimeras are kind of, uh, all over the place as far as mythology goes. Damn, they are chunky little guys, though. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Give me your give me your blue goo, bro. And yep, there we go. And yep. Man, there are a lot of resources out here. I don't even know if I'm... I mean, I'll probably need most of them at some point. Hey, it was a milk bloom or whatever. And a little house. Hey, wait a minute. Who made this? Dummy, don't make that. These ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwriting is so bad that Iggy cannot summon up the will to read anymore. Give me your box. Give me your... Well, I'm out of stuff. Yeah, I probably didn't need that. Oh, I was one of those little devil mans. I know those guys. I've seen one or two. Oh, let me eat. Oh, geez, that doesn't heal me, though. Well, that's a bit concerning. Oh, hey, mushrooms. Uh, shoot. I guess I'll drop the stick. How do I drop? How do I drop? No, that's look. Drop. Dr drop. Discard. That's what I want. There we go. Mushrooms. Dang, mushrooms. This man, get him. Get him. What will you give me? Nothing. Well, shoot. Where's that guy? Where's that guy? Where's that guy? Pippi was talking about. Wait a minute. Hello there. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, he's an old dirt house. Like Minecraft. Hello? Hey, free at last. 
I cannot thank you enough, young lady. Whoa. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I will remember such a funny looking face. What? You say you're building a town near here? But my bushy beard. Buy my bushy beard. I skipped the rest of it. Whoops. Hmm. What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'm from my way to your town, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most venerable of books, the Catlin Chronicle. I'll show you that it, and I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way. Let me get this mushroom. Alright, let's head back. Oh, let me grab some. Some plumbs. Plums berries. Is it a plum or is it a berry? They're not very clear about it, so it's really hard to tell either direction. You know. Do you? Do you know, really? Truly? Truly, would you know? Mm, I don't really need that workbench. We're going. It's getting dark. This is no good for me. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Town. Town, where are you? No. No, my man. Oh, good. He is safe. I'm trying, dude. We're going, we're going. Where do you think we're going? You friggin' dingus. Hold on, let me eat. There we go, full up. Ish pippy. Yeah, you found someone to join our town. What, sir? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there, but that's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. But he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? He must be really clever, too. I mean, he's got such a big, bushy beard, after all. But anyway, now that we've found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the, the place that we said it was. Seed of Life. Right, new friend. More wood. Did it just like go to the chest then, or? Where's the seed of life? Well, here I'll move all these over. I'll probably want his mattress. Where is the seed of life? I thought you gave me a seed of life. I accidentally ate a plumberry. Equipment? No. Recipes. Oh no, I didn't pick it up because my pockets were full. There we go, use it. Nice. And shake. Oh, my bristly brows, this town is positively brave men with five. Well, I do believe that the Cantlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's a perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Uh-huh. My mention of the legendary town piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge. Passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old. Its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Ziggy. I assure you we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. I'll talk to him. Talk to him. Now talk to him. Iggy, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but was it truly really you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost so long ago. 
Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cat and the Chronicle speaks, a legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Well, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Ah, oh, yes, I nearly forgot. A path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Well, Caitlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. The most convenient contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speed and be back at your base in a blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Uh, yep. How many do I need, though? I mean... Like, I have some already. Chimera wing. I need two more. Well, let's sleep first. Aye. My bed. That's not for you. Alright, fine. I will sleep at their feet. Hmm. It's time. Uh, before I do that, though, whoops. Um, before I do that, sure that'll work. I'm gonna take a break real quick, and I will be RB. So don't touch the internet dial. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
All right, I have returned. Um, God, getting up and out of this, up, out of, and back into this chair kind of sucks. I was working out earlier and I like tweaked my hip. Should I feel like a friggin' ninety-year-old or something? Just have to like, kind of, yeah, yeah, in and out of every seat. Ah, oh, it's a bit annoying, but whatever. That's what you get for a. Uh, Exercising. If you don't exercise, you won't get injured, but you'll also be in bad shape. If you do exercise, you get in good shape, but then you also are, like, constantly mildly injured in one way or another. It's like g gentle injuries, you know, just like a slight, like, oh, my my wrist is sore, my shoulder kind of hurts. And, like, you know, if you take care of yourself and get plenty of rest, it's not too big a thing. I did just get, um, Redcon 1 and Kenny Omega, uh, paired up, teamed up, to release V-Trigger. Total War V-Trigger. It's a, a Lemonheads emulated flavor of their, uh, pre-workout blend powder. And, yeah, it's it's got a lot of caffeine, basically. <laughs> I, I only did a half today, and it didn't do that much for me, because I, um... I mean, it did about as much as my morning coffee would do, so I'm very curious how it's going to be tomorrow, or not tomorrow, probably Monday, when uh, I try and do a full scoop, which is supposed to be 320 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot. That's, like, a, a lot, a lot. Like, even, like, the most hardcore, like, friggin' uh, energy drinks only do about 300, period. Where's he at? Hey, come down here. Hey. Hey, I see the shadow. Come down here. Come down here, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll find another one. You ain't special. You just like the rest of them. Come on, come on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I can grab all the stuff I had to leave behind last time. Like that stick. You are not a Chimera. Where is another Chimera? Corelli, bud. Oh, another one of these guys. Where are they, imps? I don't know what they're named. Not familiar with the fellows. I've seen them. I've seen them many a time. Many a Dragon Quest style thing, but I, I don't know them personally, if I am to admit it. You've never been introduced. Well, I think that's enough of that. Get him. Get him. Nice. Uh, oh, come on, I need a Chimera. Where are they at? Did I kill the, like, two and they didn't respawn because I killed them too early? And yeah, it's very densely wooded. I see you. I see you. You know what I'd want to play on here sometime is, uh, Doom. I might do that after I finish up uh, Pokemon Shield, because, like, we're getting to the end of the story with that, and I'm getting close to, like, halfway through the Pokedex, so then the next few weekends after that is just going to be kind of grinding. Um, I'm excited, though. I've never actually filled out the Pokedex to any of the uh, Pokemon games I've played. I've beaten... I've beaten Crystal and, uh, and uh, Leaf Red. Or leaf green, what am I saying? Um, but never, never finished the full Pokedex. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. I'm sure there's some really difficult ones in there. But we'll see, we'll see. Get it, get it, mushrooms, mushrooms. Hmm. There are no more chimeras. What's up? They told me to come all the way out here for some chimera. 
There ain't no dang chimera. There's just m a bunch of these guys. A lot of mushrooms. So, I guess I'll just load up on those. Come on, come on. I'll get another one of these. If they stack, they do stack. Perfect. That way I don't have to worry about it. Hmm. I just, I need two more Chimera Wings. I already had three. So where are the rest? Stick. Do I need to wait till nighttime? Will more of them spawn then? Or do I need to somehow get, oh, maybe I need to get up there. Is that the way to go? Oh, haha, haha. -ha. Jumpies, jumpies. I think I can make it, no, crap. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Get over here. Come here. Fight me. Fight me! Oh, come on. I know I can get up there now. I, I just gotta get the jumps just right. Yes! Alright, where'd they go? Oh, I saw that chimera. Come on. Did it run away as soon as I, like, got up here? God dang it. I see him. Come here, you. There's one. I need one more. Where are they at? Where are they at? Ha! Hi! There! There we go. Okay. Now I can run on home. There's one even closer. What the heck? I don't even need to do all that crazy platforming. Hmm. Er, wait, where am I? Um. Shoot. It's really, really dark now, and I do not know where I ended up. Whoa! Who said that? Oh, that's just a chimera. Uh, oh, wait, okay, I just got... Oh, oh, no! Oh, there's fall damage! Oh, that's not good for me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I made it back down. There we go. Okay. Oh, I should eat. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Backup chimera wing. Feather. The, the wing's going to be a different thing. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And home is roughly there. Yes. Yes, I made it. All right. Oh, and I got to make the thing. So let's let's do that. I did it. And let's hop in here. Go bed. Go bed. Real sleepy. Wake up, Rolo. Goodness, goddess above, this is a chimera wing. It is just as the Caitlin Crockle describes. There is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. 
Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alephgard have waited for this day to come. The day the benevolent Rubus would send the builder to save us. You give my child, you need only to uh, see how more. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, Iggy, my friend. You and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. First, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Cantlin, Natch. And second, we must unravel a mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the sea, keeping all inside safe from harm. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated. Nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers and my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Iggy. <laughs> yeah. Gee, thanks for the random broken branches. No, Iggy, I've been starving lately. I could eat my own head. All this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. Let's say, can you think of something you could build to cook things on? If you do think of anything, put it in a room with a chance that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So, yeah, make us a room to cook in. Ding, ding, ding. Cook fire. Make me a kitchen. So I need to make a chest. And a fire. Okay, so first and foremost, let's... There we go. And we'll clean this out. And... Let's see, put another block... Well, okay, let me see what I need for the cook fire. Uh, nope, that's not what I was trying to say. Uh, right, 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 right. Cook fire. Cook hot fire. Let's do it. And a chest. All right, now let's see, how big is the cook fire? Can I put it right here? It is three. Oof, okay. That's fine. I'll place that there. I'll place that there, and then we'll just kinda extend this room out a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, and we're gonna. Whoops. Uh, there. Nope. X. I'm used to Minecraft controls, so this is is throwing me off a little bit. Oh yeah, and I need to make the door. Let's see here. No, not Pippa. I don't want Pippa. Door. Er, whoops, not what I meant. Whoops, not what I meant. Frick. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Jeez. I guess that's as tidy as it gets. Alright. And we go over here. Do, 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 do. Placed. A crude kitchen. rooms on a stick. Alright, let me grab all the food stuff. Uh, I don't think that's food. That might be food. Those could be food. Well, let's take this. And this. And let's go put that in the food box. Mm. Mm. 
No, that's not food. No, talk. Talk. Ah, she ran away. Rami, you do. You made a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Like you, Icky. That chase is perfect. If I like anything really, really tasty, I'll put it in there so you can drop it too. Plumbery. Nice. Well, well, well. But my bulbish belly. Shame's we have a kitchen now. Each great power of yours is a wonderful thing. One of your culinary skills are equally exemplary. So you taste them out and like me something to eat. Listen, but what? Make it yourself. I've built a whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even make me a single measly meal. Iggy, you wound me. I thought we were friends. By the way, I should mention I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. She could make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. We have an agreement, friend. I mean, yeah, I got all this stuff, so. One. Can I... Can I not do multiples? Uh, as far as I can tell, no. I can either make all of them or one of them. Hmm. Well, okay. And then I'll put away the plumbery. Whoops. Put away the plumbery. There you go. Iggy, my friend, do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? The fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors, but my growling gizzard, he shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, and the meal for quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Marvelous work, Iggy. We shall have to rename you the cooker. Wah ha ha ha. The Cantaloon Chronicle covers a wide range of topics and chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals or of particular. But, pardon, you want to see it yourself? The Cantaloon Chronicle with your own two eyes? I'm sorry, you but that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it out in front of everyone that asks. And besides, the time is written in an ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else will be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring this city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. But fear not, my friend. I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you will be the first to know. And as for these mushrooms, it is only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. Shrooms on a stick. I made that though. What? Have I finished reading that book yet? Lose some patience, young lady. I've made it quite clear that you would be the first to know of any secrets I uncover. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle will take time, Mickey, and I'll work on restoring the city has already just begun. I suggest that, while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild this city to its former greatness and prove yourself the builder you Excuse me. The builder you claim to be. Um, but be wary. You do not place your direction decorations one two blocks above the floor. Uh, okay, gotta get points. Iggy, pay attention. Now you can think of something you could use to decorate all these new rooms you're about to build. Ding, ding, ding. A pot, an earthen urn that can be used to store one's personal property. I'll just make a bunch of those. But make as many as possible. Yes, sixteen. Yes. Sounds like too much. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, no, don't want to block the way in or out. And just and there we go level up I did it I'll just 
plop the rest of these down. I don't know if this was their intention, but I did it, so... Wonderful work, Iggy. I'm impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your powers have become an ever greater. Only by the weapons you wield. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry to say, though, that I've made scant progress in deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle. I dare say it will be some time still before... Oh, more sensitive ears. Did you hear that? Seed of life. Let me take that. Looks like a fight's about to happen. Iggy, of the most terrible tidings. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack our great city in force. We must protect Cantlin at all costs. Iggy, we must prepare our defenses against the coming assault. But fear not, I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall do my duty by protecting dear Pippa and our beloved home from harm. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are heading here in droves. Hmm. No. I need to I need to make more healing creams. Can I make healing creams with this? Nope. Okay, so I do need to. Yeah, I should take take out the ones that are not food. And all right, let's make all the healing salves we can. Put away, put away, put away. Put away, put away, put away, put away, put away tidy up, tidy up. And let's build Another oaken club, maybe. Ah, uh, paltry protection sounds pretty good to me. Uh, what more do I need for the oaken club? More broken branches. Okay, um... In the meantime, I'll make as much healing cream as possible. Eighteen! Sounds good to me. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go get some sticks. That doesn't do anything. There's some sticks and branches. Let's do it. Sticks will be required. Well, there's one right there. Oh, that didn't give me anything. Oops. I wasted it. My bad. Okay, let's go build it all up. And, oh yeah, while I'm at it, I should actually equip those rags. Oh, wait, I already have the rags. Well, yeah, I'll just equip the ones that aren't busted. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotta build more oak and clubs, and then we gotta move on to the fight. Oaken Club. Five Oaken Clubs. Put away, put away, put away. Do all that. And... Nope, not that. I meant this. Equip, 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 equip. All right. We're ready to do it. Let me take a swig of water real quick. Ah, steal myself for the onslaught. In fact, 
What is this business? Ah. There we go. Let's do it. Iggy, you'll have the most terrible tidings. I know what. Uh, yeah, we already went through this. Let's do it. It's time to kick some major buns. Defeat the monsters. Skeletons from Wintz. Oh, that way. Oh, wow. Wait, I gotta use Y, that's it. No. No, he's coming into my house. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Okay, we got one. We got one. Ah. Leader? Where? Where's he at? Ah. I get him. Gotta get him. We did it. Bwahaha. Victory. Well done, my child. You have saved from the monster's audacious advances. I hope well is it. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord's vile vassals. The monsters fear that should the people uh the uh, yep. Okay. Hmm. You do not know if you are equal to the task. In fact, you do not really understand what this task I have given you is all about. You just want to build things, not fight the monsters. This very moment, that may well be so. Great power, great responsibility, benighted land. The rest is up to you. Work together with your new friends and restore the sea of to his former greatness. Uh, until then, know that I do watch over you always. Iggy obtains a pair of blue tablet fragments. Wow. Oh, save. Wow, last time I played this was in 2018. It's been a while. All right, let me, uh, oh, hey, new guy, what's your deal? I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and though it warranted investig thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. But who are you? And what are you doing in a place like this? I beg your pardon, you're building a city? <laughs> Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you have another thing coming. I hate to burst your bubble, girl, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Also, it's not another thing coming, it's another think coming. If you think that, you have another think coming. Not another thing co that doesn't make any sense. I digress. Speaking of which, I'm tired out after that trek. I'll stay here and rest for a while if you don't mind. The name's La Rouge. Shan't be staying long, I don't think. But in any case, pleased to make your acquaintance. Hmm. I wonder how long this demo actually goes on for. Because, like, it's, it's already been, like, almost two hours. That's pretty hefty. Munch, munch, munch. Mm, need more. Need more. Tasty. I'll make 11. Sure. And I'll drop 12 of, or 6 of them in here for my friends. No, I want... I want to keep some of those. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, and I'll uh, get another one. Save. I've already saved. What am I doing? Ah, whoop. I meant to back out of that, but I hit the wrong button. Whatever. We got Pippa. No, wait, that's Rolo. Brilliant work showing those boys who's boss, Iggy. But it seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. 
I had seen an artifact of similar design in the Catelyn Chronicle and, uh, man of action that I am, I investigated further. If you were to stick those fragments together again, I believe they would form a device known as a teleport. Apparently you can just plonk that thing down on the ground and, hey, uh, presto, whisk you away on a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. For a building like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Iggy, do you think you can glue that teleport together again? All right, let's do it. To and from another island. What do I need? I need some blue goo. Are we really out? Huh. All right, gotta find some slimes. Where they at? Where they at though? Oh, there he is. I see you, you rat bastard. Hey, take it back. No, he didn't give me any goo. Oh, and those are just petals. Come on now, come on now. Nope, that didn't help. Come on, I just need some goo, guys. Haven't got any goo for me. Well, I suppose it is a bit rude to ask, but you know, I can't... Can't rightly help it. Oh, there it is. Ah! Well, that's a fast little guy. That was a little scary. All right. There's the goo. And I'm going to build you a blue tarot portal. Nice. And I'm also going to drop this stuff off. Because I don't want it clogging up my business. And we're gonna take this guy out. Whoa, he's pretty strong. Come on now, come on now, go down. Well, that wasn't too much. All right. Ah! Ah! Need to make another freaking mattress. They keep stealing my beds. Hmm. Whoa. Later. Hey, whoa! Get out of here. Okay, we're gonna need to deal with that real quick. Make this a little bit taller. Not enough space. Well, whatever. Sleep. Sleepy. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Iggy's mind. Hello? Beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped to thy mind. Forsooth, what manner of hero art thou to forget such a speech? Permit me to regale thee with his majesty's word once more. <laughs> In days of yore, thy revered ancestor did receive of the almighty goddess the sphere of light. By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet, alas, some few years past, there did arise a new threat, the dragon lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should this state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold and our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed dragon lord and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alfgard doth place its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. Seemed like a memory of something that happened long, long ago, but whether it was... Uh, da, 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 da. Is that it? Is that the end of the demo? No. Still going. Wow. I gave you a lot for free. Alright, let me talk to Rollo. Talk. Oh, my baby blue eyes. You've done it, Iggy. You've made a tailpool. 
Now you can travel to distant mysterious worlds and back again in these new and exciting lands. You'll be sure to find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quick now, prop that teleport down on the ground and hop on through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, Iggy, before you head off, there's something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleport up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna drop it down right... Oh, right in the middle here looks cool. Bam. Wow. Nice. Put away, put away, tidy up, tidy up. All right, let's do this. Ah, my nose itched. Equipment, I still have all that stuff. All right, Rolo, what's up? By my athletic physique, the teleporter is activated. That mystical swelling lies positively hypnotic. When a teleporter shines like that, it shows the path is open to a place where all your dreams can come true. Iggy, my friend, there's one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I said you find out how to build that most mighty of the tools, the giant mallet. The Kaling Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer, strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and wood aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this teleport takes you. When new materials come ideas for new items, arms we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as hammer hoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure that they could tell you how to build one. Once you've learnt the recipe, waste no time. Build one straight away and show it to me. Okay, so I gotta find the hammer hoods, eh? Where's that? Is it you? Well, let me save. Do I just... Do I need to build the hammer before I leave, or...? Just told... well, okay. Enter. That's the end of the demo. That's the end of the demo version. You can enjoy the rest of the game in the final release. Well. That is a pretty solid demo. I mean, it, goodness, it was almost two hours of demo, so that's that's really good. Um, I'm going to probably get this at some point. We have Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I think is a totally different story. So, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know how this differs. Coco was the one who mostly played that one. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll come back with uh, another short demo, probably, so that it's not just the one demo this whole whole showcase, but, uh, yeah. I'll let you see what it's all about, guys, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet down. I'll be RB. Now, let me just save real quick. Actually. Now we're gonna... Just gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna forget that one. Er, wait, no archive because it probably lets you start from where you're at. Yeah, I don't want to delete all the save data. And let me look through. I'm gonna probably do Picross because that one's gonna be pretty quick for me. Trial version. Yep, that's it. Okay, let me just. I'll do all this over the thing. So I'm just gonna be changing the things. Don't touch the internet dial. Don't go anywhere. All that. Sorry to change the overlay, I gotta... Hold on. Sorry, sorry, that's all. Okay, okay, gonna take a break. BRB. BRB.
All right, I am back. So we're gonna cool off with a little Picross. Picross is a very, um, very simple game. If you don't know what it is, I'll explain it real quick. They might even have a tutorial in here. So let's let's find that out real quick before I get too ahead of myself. This is just the trial version, so probably only gonna have a few puzzles in it. Picross, plain normal Picross. Here we go. Welcome. Do you want to view the tutorial? No. I don't need, okay, yeah, so there's only a couple. Yeah, there's only like three in each category. So how Picross works pretty simply is that, um, yeah, let's play it. That's gonna be an easy one. No, don't use a hint roulette. Um, and in fact, let me see. Edit options. Uh, sure. So basically, each of these numbers are groups of numbers. So that's one, and then there has to be a gap, and then a group of three. So group of three must be a gap, group of one. You can put X's to keep up with it. Since there's only five across, the fives you can just fill in. Like that. And, as with a lot of small pick crosses, they're very, very quick to get through. So what is this, a dice? Uh, a button. They do make a picture. Uh, there's something you could see in, like, a newspaper, basically. Like, you'd fill it in, and it's like, oh, it's a dog. It's it's usually not anything special. No, I know how to do it. <laughs> it's only a 10 by 10, guys. Give me some credit. No, I don't need the hint roulette. Thank you. All right, here we go. I highly recommend Picross to anybody. There's a great app, um... Nonogram.com, I think it's called. Or, uh, Coco, if you're watching, help me out. I can't remember what it's, it's like Nonogram something, like Nonogram.com. Uh, some things you'll notice about Picross. So, like, because this is seven, that means it has to at least be the two across the ten, right? Uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know. It's definitely a good game, because it's like, it's always a little different, and it's always kind of challenging. Like, it's, it never gets truly easy, no matter how you, good you get at it. That was a problem I had with Sudoku back in the day. I was really into it for a while, and then I was like, I just, it's not challenging anymore. It's, like, just methodical. But this is, like, methodical while still having some interest to it. Yes, nonogram.com. There we go. Perfect. Because they're also called nonograms. Um... I'm not exactly sure why. I guess that's just the official term. But, yeah. It's it's a very, very relaxing kind of puzzle. It teases your brain. And there we go. Minute 25. That's pretty good. Um, but not on gram.com's free. It does have ads, which are kind of annoying. But uh, it's got a lot of stuff. Oh, a clip pick cross piece is a bonus for clearing the puzzle. So how does clip pick cross work, I wonder? Well, first of all, I'm gonna play the other one in normal pick cross here. Yes, that's a 15 by 15. Now we're getting a little tricky. Hint roulette, no. All right, so then you can tell stuff like this. So 14, which means it's going to go almost all the way to the end, but we don't know which which side it's going to fill up. Similarly, 13 to 1, that means it has to be 13, gap, 1, right? And now that we have uh, the edges, going from the edges, you can pretty easily... Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's turn it off. Um, I actually went a little too far there because I wasn't paying attention. But you can tell that it has to go off of here because that's just how the... Uh, how the things are set up. Oh, an 8 by 6 because that adds up to 14 and there has to be a gap in between. That solves itself. Let's see. And the thing you get with something like this that you pay for, it's like, yeah, you can play Picross for free, but you also get weird Picrosses in apps like this. Like the Clip Picross, I don't know what that is yet, but that's something that you get from, uh, 
this particular one. There's also like Mega Picross, which is like really, really confusing. I don't fully understand them. I have never gotten very good at them, but there's a lot, a lot of it out there. It's a very popular thing. Hmm? Do, 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 do. And then this has to be the last one, right? Because this is going to have to be the nine. That's the only gap for a one. Stuff like that, you know? It's just like little, little heuristics that you learn. Little tr tips and tricks that slowly come to you the more you play it. That's what games all are all about. Because for me, it's like... Um... For me, the process of learning the game is where the fun lies. And generally, for a lot of people, like, when people get bored of a game, it's because there's nothing new for them to see but the game. But with something like this, it's like... It, it, it's constantly changing. I don't. I feel like I still have a lot to learn about Picross despite doing it for so long. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 five... So because that's seven, it has to cross over like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can also get Mario Picross, which is a Game Boy, like original Game Boy game for like a couple bucks on the uh, 3DS eShop. And I'd certainly recommend that. Obviously, it's not like super polished because it, it was just kind of a throwaway and it was super unsuccessful because nobody in the West knew what Picross was at the time. But now we're more aware. There we go. 303. I probably could have gotten that under three. Honestly, but I'm not trying that hard. Alright, and I believe that's all of the trial puzzles. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So then we can go to Mega Picross. All right, this one might be a bit more challenging. Here we go. Uh, no, I don't need the tutorial. Right, okay. So this one's a little more confusing. Um, let's see, this is a five by five, so I'll fill in the ones I know. But basically, how's it work? It's like, these big ones, like the six and the nine here, uh, you have to fill in two separate lines that do that are across two separate lines with at least that, I think. Yeah, so that has to be that. That has to be that. But I think I did that wrong, actually. Shoot. Hmm. Okay, uh, that's six. Oh, okay, I did it. I, w I was one away, so that worked out for me. Oh, and it's the button again. It is more complicated. So is this also going to be the backpack? Or whatever it was. Was it a backpack? Yeah. No. All right, yeah, let's fill in the ones I know for sure. Uh, eight's gonna be all but the two on the ends. Three, that's two. Uh, that's six, so it's gonna be all but those. And 19, because there's 20 total that it could be, means that it's gonna be all but the two end caps for sure. Which means I got that. Got this. Uh, that's that. Don't know how that works out yet. Fill in this. That and that. And there's the five. Um, right, that's all gonna fill in. Six, two, and ooh, uh, I don't know for sure with that one yet. One, two, one. And that's, let's see, four, six, so that has to be the ten. Yep. It's three, two. There we go. 
and this four. Well, ah, oh, shoot. Well, that's that. Yeah? No. There. No. Four. That's, that's four. No, it has to go across. And then that one? No. That one. No. Both of those. Yes, there we go. Two minutes. That's pretty good. File cabinet. Okay. And then let's see if that... Ooh, okay. There's a real hard one. Alright. Today is a good day to die. Let's do it. Nope. I'm going no hint roulette. Don't need it. 14. 2. Or wait, that's 1. That's 2. Uh, there. Did. 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 Do. Did. 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 Okay. I'm ripping through it pretty quick here. Uh, one more of those. One more. Yes. Um. That has to be that because it's butted up against an X like that. Uh, well, that's already filled in, basically. So it means we know we can do this. And then we know that this is all filled in. Four... Three, three. I think these are gonna have to be connected. That's a two anyway, so yeah, that works. That's a full eight. That's a 13 and a one. Uh, that's a three, two, two, four in some sort of way. And then we're gonna did it did that whoop nope like that to do like that hmm we're getting there we're getting there uh it's gonna be all but that. Oh boy, I'm I'm running out of running out of ideas here. That's got to be there. And those are too far apart to connect, so that has to be the one. Um, shoot, it's at this point when you get just all the ones. The things get a little dicey. Uh, that's got to connect. So I'm gonna say like that. No. Oh, yeah, there's the 10. So that's going to be that. Those all line up. There's the 17. Nope. Okay. No. Hold on. That's 5, 9... 13, 14, so I gotta do three more. There we go. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. Hmm. I'll come back to that. I'm 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 not sure how that one works out. Thirteen. So that's four, eight. 11. That could be the 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, that's how I do this part. Yep. There we go with that. Oh, there goes the audio. Whatever. It's just like generic whatever music. 
Um, okay, so I got that settled. There's gotta be at least one between those. Which means that this has to go like that. And that. Uh, oh, that's solved. Um, which means that this has to go some way like this. Perfect. Got it, got it. That's the five. That's a three. That's a one. And, oh, wait. Uh, I'll just do it two. One. There we go. Bam, I did it. And those are the trickiest ones. Hold on. I won't deny you guys the moon. Okay. Let me reset the Elgato real quick so I can get the audio back. Uh, just takes a moment. All right. All right, and that's all the Mega Picrosses in this version. Keller Picross. Yep, harder than normal. Nope, don't need the tutorial. <clears throat> so this is pretty much the same. You just change the colors. Let's see. Fill color. X. Y to change colors. Yeah, that works. No. Um, there we go. So it's got to be that. That's got to be that. I th believe because you can butt up different colors together. Yeah, in this version. Uh, da -da. There we go. Uh, that can't be there. Whoops. Oh no. I feel a sneeze coming on. Wait. That's where that has to be. There we go. Nope, it's gonna be that. And then that. There we go. And that is... Che oh, cherries. Yeah, cherries. They got a highlight and everything. And a cute little animation. How about that? Let's try out this one. 10 by 10. Let's play it. Uh, no. No hidden roulette needed. Let's see. Well, that's seven, so that means that we gotta go one, two, three, four. Um, two, one, 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 two, one. Frick. Yeah, it's all but one. Um, okay, one on either side. I mean, this is these middle six, so I can do these four. Oh my fucking god, the Elgato, stop. You'd think they'd build a device that just freaking works. Whoo! Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on after. There we go. I don't know how that's specifically gonna work out, but that's the best we've got right now. Um and one, which means that it's gonna be in the, these eight. So actually I can do that. One, which means that it's probably within these eight, so that I can do those. And that gives us, well, that gives us that one at least. Um, we can assume that's gonna be that, and that's the, far end of that, so. Well, no, that doesn't necessarily mark it out, but that does help us a good deal. Uh, two, you know that that's gonna be there. There's gotta be a block there. Um, that's the furthest to that, so it's gonna be this. 
Okay, it's just, you don't eliminate as many options as you do in other Picrosses, but it still makes a lot of logical sense. Uh, two, one, one, two, one. Okay, so we can just fill this in. Two, one, one, two, red. Uh, okay, we got that, so I can do this and that. Um, let's see, there has to be a red on this side, which means that that's that. Since that's three, that's the best it could be, so this is going to be that. Two, three. Okay, we finished off that row. Then we're going to do that. Um, right, that has to be that. Nope, nope. I keep hitting X's because I assume it's just all eliminated, but it's not. It's not yet. Hmm. Let's see. One. And then one. And one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. But not necessarily. Let's, yeah, let me remove these because I might be wrong on those. Uh, has to be a yellow there, which means that's all marked out. This is a two. That's all five of those. Oops. Uh, this has to be a two. Two, one, one. No, nope. no, nope. no guarantees with that one. That's going to be there. Means that's probably the three. Yeah, that has to be the three. And that, we don't know which is which on this. Yeah, we do. There's no red in this one, so that's that. Uh, nope, I messed that up. I don't know how that happened. No, I didn't. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's right. <clears throat> Can't be there. can't be yellow or that, so it's got to be this. There we go. And I can definitely mark those out. Yeah, this is a very different feeling from other Picrosses, but I'm, I'm... I'm working it out. I'm working it out in my mind. It's, it's confusing. For sure, because I'm definitely not used to it. But I think I should be able to finish this. Come on now. That's definitely filled in there. That's filled in there. That could well, that can only go there. Yep, yep, yep. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. There we go. Did it. Fried eggs. Sure. Oh. Oh, I'm making some more. Delicious, healthy breakfast. Many vitamins, good for brain. Alright, now let's try the 15 by 15. No hint roulette. This is a no hint roulette run. One, one. So if we're to say these first four, then that means that everything but the two. Um, one, three, so it has to be at least there. So everything but those two. Everything but these two. So I believe all but the three. Hmm. Um, these will each have a little bitty thing. 
And that I can presume is doing about that. One, two. One, one, okay. So this is gonna... It's the farthest that one could be. Don't have anything from that. Five. So this could be white, which means my green could be either of these. Two, space, two, space, one. So one. So if this was two in a space, and that's one, so there. Two in a space, one, so there. Uh, for sure, those got to be separate. Okay, that's a that's a breakthrough right there. We got it. We got that bit for sure. We got two more, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. We can't do those. <clears throat> hmm. Nope. Well, actually, I think I just messed this up. Two, white, green, that, that. I'm just not going to mark that off. That's definitely marked off. That's the two. That's marked off. That might be marked off. This is definitely. And that two... I mean, it's somewhere in there. So we can mark these. And that's like that. Maybe? I might have messed that up. That for sure has to be in there. This can't be here. That's all finished. Can't eliminate that. Can eliminate that. Um, no, I had to have messed that up. Did I? Maybe. Yeah, I think I messed this whole bit up. has to be there. There? That doesn't make sense. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, is there no, like, restart? Ah, whatever. I'll, I'll just keep working with this. Hopefully I can make it work. Uh, one. Which means... Nine. So I should have all but three. Yes. Uh, that one, that one. Good, good. All right. All but two of this are good. Yeah, I think I really messed up the top layer there, but that's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Oops. Uh, do 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 do. How do I how do I untangle this mess I've made for myself? Wait, wait. That's that's more accurate. Okay. I'm pretty sure that has to be. Mm hmm. One, one. Somewhere in here, three. So I don't know what this is. Two, then one. Two, then three.
Well, maybe that, uh, there. That's nine, so that means we're, we're solid on that. There's the only one there. That can't be right. Has to be there, right? <sighs> okay. Yes, I was screwing all that up. That's definitely accurate. Okay, um... Well, that means I gotta put this here. This has to be here. Green can't be there. For sure it has to be up in there. So let's... Yeah, there shouldn't be that in there at all. Hmm. Hmm. I'm really, yeah, I'm really confused here. I really messed this up. It has to be that. Oh boy. Okay, come on. Come on, I, I got this. I'm a Picross champion. Picross master. You gotta tell somebody. Three, one... Probably in here. One. That's seven, which would mean that there's this probably. Mm hmm. This has to go up. Oh, uh, there? And then that. So this is all set. Um, one, five. Uh, shoot, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, this, and then... No. No, that can't be right. This row is all screwed up. Okay, so that one for sure. Maybe that. This has to be. Um, this has to be all ten, which makes this that. That's two, so it can't be that. Green. Okay. Pretty sure I got that right now. Two. I feel like my brain is frying out. I don't I don't get this at all. Two. Okay, so that's for sure. to be in here. So it can't be that. No, no. Let me check mistakes. Yeah, let's check. Got it.
Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this one over from scratch. I really messed this up. Okay, let me try this again. No hidden roulette. Still, still, I can I can do this. Okay, if that's ten, the only thing I can say for certain is that that is there. And that. If that is green, that has to be in there. And this. Nine. Has to be this. Okay. <coughs> yep, 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 yep. I got this. Okay. Maybe that's the one. I don't know yet. Um, this is f five. So for any fours, it has to be in here. That five has to be there. That has to be a two. And I have to put the one in there. This is all solved, so any twos are kicked out. Which means that these are kicked out. So this has to be that. That's going to be more twos, so I don't need to worry about that. Okay, yeah, now that I t took another crack at it, this is coming together a lot smoother. I don't know what I did wrong that first time, but it really screwed me up. Hmm. This has to be that. That. Yes, that. Uh, uh, okay, for the sure, I have to slap those out. That could be up or down. No way to tell. Two has to be somewhere in here. Well, okay, I don't know if it's necessarily that, but it's definitely... Can mark those off the list. Wait. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes, I've got it. And that's gonna be there. This is all here. Oops. Um, yep, and that's four. That's three. Since three is the last one, I can mark that off. If that's more than two, then I can do this. Down to nine here, so it's actually down to eight if you think about it, because... Uh, tan or whatever. Those are going to meet with green, so I can mark them off. That's going to meet with another one, if at all, so I can mark that off. Oh, and I can mark it off anyways. Of course. Um... Hmm. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. This... Uh, there, there could be another... T no, there couldn't, because uh, across this way, it doesn't exist, so... That means that this has to be that five. That's... Yep, that has to be that. 
and that has to be that. So that means that I can do this. Um, oh, now I got this and this. That's also a five with the green, so that means that I actually, or whoops, the, uh, the beige, tan, whatever I'm calling it. Uh, this is also going to be that with the white. And because there's going to be a cream down, green down here, let me get you with that. Nothing solved there. This would have to be this. Which means, in this case, yeah, it's something in there. Uh, green has to be somewhere in here. It's four, one. Not much solved there. Um, green has to be somewhere in here. Hmm, could be two there. Uh, nope, nope, that doesn't help me very much. So there's only three that are going to be slid through here. I can see which ones are green. There needs to be at least one space, so this has to be it. And so that means that has to be the one the white one. There's going to be a gap there. That means that has to be a two. Could be something up there, but nothing down here. That means that's marked out. Green there. Beige. Nice. Finished off this row. Uh, I'm about to get this row. No, not quite. That white one has to be one of these. It can't be this. Uh, can't be white. White can be any of these, and they can also, any of them, be green. So that's not super helpful, but... That's three. That has to be that. So I believe that means that we've solved that, yes. That's pretty much solved. Yeah, that has to be solved like that. Um. Yep, green has to be over here. Which means those connect. Uh, can't have any more greens here. Could have a green here. In fact, can't have any greens over here. It's a white somewhere in there. Done with that. That could be the one. Oh, but I have figured out the three. Uh, this is one of the whites. In fact, that means it's finished. Uh, that's the end of that row, so I can just mark it off. Can't be there. Could be there, there. Can't be there. Wow, the color... Actually, it does eliminate quite a bit. Um, this one has to be the white. Hmm, and that has to be the beige for that row. Can't be anything in there. That has to be the five. Not enough room there. This one has to line up with something. Um. Well, that's the only place it can fit, so. Bam. Bam. Okay, they're telling me those are the correct ones, so. Bam. Finished. And there's those three, which could be anywhere in there. The 
or one over there. So that means one of these has to be three. That has to be a white. The only place left for white to go is there. 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 Which means that's gotta be in one of those places. That row's finished, that row's finished. Or, well, there could be another green there. Um, I can't mark that off. The only place left where there's two greens in a row is that. So that marks off that row. That's there. Could be anywhere. That's marked off. That's there. Which means that's that. Oh. Green and a one. Well, that's finished off. Okay. Very close to finishing this. Okay. Could be there or there. Fuck it. I'm just going to do green. Nope. Can't be that. Then it has to be this. Which means this has to be that. That has to be that, and that has to be that. Cleared! Cleared! Is a crocodile! Is a crocodile! I made him, and now he's steppy! What more do you need in life? That's why I call it puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. That was an ordeal, but actually, there was so much that I was finding out about that as I played it that I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in the color prick cross. This is very fun. Um. I'm gonna mark her that. That was a victory. Dang nabbit. All right. And let's see what Clip Pick Cross is about. Oh, it's one of these. Well, okay. I only got two, so let's let's do it. Oh wait, I got like a few. Ah, uh, I can finish these pretty quick. These are all like t yeah, they're all like ten by tens and shit. Um, wait, how do I get back to the one I was at to begin with? Oh, I see, okay. <clears throat> I got these, I got these. No hint roulette, thank you. Okay, six, 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 seven, and then I can add two more. Five normally wouldn't give me anything, but one... Yeah, so I got those. Uh, one, but three, four, uh, that. And then we do that. Six, six. Two more. Finish that off. Uh, I'm not sure how that works out yet. Hmm, there. Hmm, that's a seven, so that means I can fill in that. Whoops, it looped around. Could have messed me up, but it didn't. Got that solved. Two, that's four. That's all did. Or, no, I mean like this. Uh, like that. And like that. There we go. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is all coming together. Uh, like that? Yep, yep, yep. Has to be that. Has to be. There's no other option. Got 
this, this, this. There. Cleared. I did it. It's a... Well, I guess we won't know yet. It's some lady. Let's do it. No, I don't need no hint roulette. No, thank you. All right, we can start with two over there. Two, one, so four could be anywhere in here. See, yeah, I can rocket through these ones because I'm, I've played a lot of them. It was the other one that was giving me a lot of trouble because it was a new format. Um. One. One. There. There. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. As it will from time to time. <laughs> there, that. Hmm, there. Oh, wait, actually, that. Hmm. real good. Cleared. It's like a squirrel? Maybe? Some kind of bear? Okay. Uh... Yes, play this puzzle. No, I don't need a hint roulette. Thank you. Thank you for your offer, but I will be refusing. There. Two, which means it's seven. Ooh. Oh boy, they're not giving me a lot of info on this one. Eight. No, that's very unhelpful. So that there. Okay, that cracked it open. I got it. Those could connect, so I can't quite mark them off yet. There's that. One, one, two. Okay, so the two has to be down here. Can't do the four down there. Right. There we go. It's all coming together real quick like. There we go. Mm, that. Yes. Okay. And there we go. Dude and to do. Nope. Very close. Um Th 
There it is. Okay, I was slightly off. <clears throat> nice. So I got those, and then this one, and I think that's the end. Whoa, that's a weird shape. Okay, let's try it out. No hint roulette, thank you. There we go, we got all these to fill in. So while it's an odd shape, it doesn't look like it's too difficult. Okay, already, yeah, I've already filled out a really good chunk of it. That's all got to be finished in. There we go, got that. This all has to be here. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Dang it. Oh, it's a freaking three in a six spot. That stuff is always real awkward. Okay. to do that. Still in the six. Still not helping me out. Uh, well, that's undone there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's usually, like, one specific thing you need to start unraveling everything. It's kind of like undoing a knot. You just kind of, like, Find the one specific spot that is giving you trouble, and you just kind of poke at it, and you kind of figure it out slowly until you got it. And I got it. I did it. All right. Oh, large pick rosses. We got one. Oh, do I dare? Yes, yes. I'll go a little over time, but this. Oh boy. All right. So what is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a thirty by thirty. Oh boy. Okay, let's do it. Thankfully, this is already open. Wait, I messed that up. There we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna, yes, yeah, sort of fill these in before I even look at the rest of this thing. All right. <sighs> oh man, I, I don't know how hard this one's even gonna be. They actually have already given me like a lot to work with. B 
But it is an exciting prospect, considering they usually don't go above like 15 by 15, maybe 20 by 20. But yeah, I've never seen a 30 by 30. This is this is massive. And this side's all filled in too. That's a that's a nine. Sorry, uh, the one of the little figures on my desk just barely blocked the number. Come on now, come on now. Uh, well, this has to fit in here, so. Man, yeah, this is already gonna be mostly like, this can be like half solved by the time I just finish off all these bits. Well, that's all right by me, cause like, this is, this is, I mean, the methodicality of, uh, something like this is also still pretty pleasant. Methodality? I don't know what you'd call that. Whoops. No, it's three. Then four. Then two. Then three. Then two. Okay, now we have to actually start breaking into this a little bit. Hmm. Alright, let's see. We got two and then eight. So that's already solved. Seven there. That's one. Let's see. Two, one. Three. One, one. Three. That's one there. One, one. And this one's like solving itself, kind of. Probably because it's like an intro one. To the like, idea of the big ol' pick house. But hey. Listen. I don't mind. This thing is very intimidating. Nine. Eight. So let's say it was eight. And then... Yeah, all but two. And then let's... Let's see, that's seven. So let's say it goes the other way. That'd be all but one. One... Seven, nine, so if that were the seven, this nine could only go to about the two, and this eight is already done, and let's say that in the other way, so all but two. Holy crap, this thing is, is so massive. I just can't. I just can't. And we'll go with that. And then if we were to say 6. Out of 13, so all but 4. Um, I'm about 4 starting there. 1, if we were to say 9... Then nine, then six within that, so that'd be three. Um, and if we were to say, it also has to be like at least that, so six, nine, and then four, seven, twelve, so all but three. And then if we were to say this and that, it's 11, so, okay. Oh my god, uh, oh, and I actually have something down here looking at it. <sighs> That's the one. Seven, and eight, which 
means six. If we go with six, then eight. And then that's eleven, so all but the four. And if we were to say seven and six, three, eleven, so everything except those. Um, but it has to be four. It's already seven. That's one. So I already got those. Those connect. So that's nine. Ah, uh, frick. Um, that's a three. This would be a one one. So that'd be the one there. Uh, it'd have to be at least one. Five one. Okay. Two. Man, this is this is I just keep saying it over and over again, but this is so much bigger of a pick cross than I've ever seen. I, wow, just wow. How, how are they even allowed to do this? Is there not a Picross authority that would stop them from such dumb foolery? Man, I got nothing in this bottom right. That's all right though, I got this. Uh, seven, and if we were to say one, then two, one, so six would be somewhere in here. And if they were to say one, one, and all but four. One, that's four. Five, which that's gonna have to be five up there, so this is seven. One, one. Lock that off. One. Uh, that means five up here is gonna be this. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. Yes. Um, hmm, yeah, yeah, pick Ross. Seven, one, it's gonna be the six, one, one. Okay. Hmm. Four, one, that's 13. So that'd be all but six. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So pretty much just that one. That's something at least, so. One. Nope, not very helpful there. Um. Pretty sure that's a seven gap. One, one. That's nine. Okay. Like that, and maybe like this over here, maybe, I don't know. That has to be like that. Trying not to chew my lips so much, but I keep I keep going to it. 
It's bad for your lips. But sometimes you just get so befuddled by a giant friggin' Picross that you forget not to chew on your dang lip. Hmm. These are gonna have to come together. Hmm. I've already been going at this for 12 minutes. But I'm making good time, I think. Pretty sure that. Wait. Yeah, that. Okay, um, let's say six, and then that'd be ten, so. Meanwhile, if this were that, then be seven. Oof, okay, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of jumping around at different parts at this point, because I don't. I, I, if I look at one part too long, my brain can't handle it. <sighs> okay. Uh, that's there. Eight. Okay, seven, yep, it's already eight. One, two, three, five, six. It has to be seven. Uh, crap. Wait, no, I messed that one up, so that's actually fits. One, one. Oh boy. Uh, nope, nope, not another one. Uh, f so that's there. One. So everything but that one. Uh, nope, that's too much. So then, hmm. I'm getting right into there. Let's get it. I'm getting pretty close to the, the solution here. So we have one, two, four. I don't know where that last one is, but it's somewhere in there. That has to be a one. It has to be that. That's there. That's seven. It's already a four. This, I'm pretty sure, is already nine. Yep. Yeah, it is. Wait. No. One. Two. Two, one, five, one. God, yeah, it's just like, literally, even if I knew the solution to this, filling this all in is taking a great deal of time. That's six. That's eight.
Hmm. Well, somewhere in there. And in there. That's already finished. Oops. So that's within there. That's another six. That has to be somewhere in there. Got that four. Nine. Whoops. Nope, I messed that one up. That's the only way that one can work together, so that... That has to be that way. Oh, man. That's how that has to fit together. There we go. All right. And there. Oh, these have to come together. So that's that. This one's worked out. Um, hmm. What's within eight? So yeah, I can do another one there. That's gotta be the four then. Can't do any of these. Could do that. But not quite. Alright, that row's finished. That row's finished. It's eight. That can't be right. Oh yeah, it definitely isn't right. That row's finished. Still don't know about that row. Can only go that much. Three, one, three. Let's finish that row. That's gonna have to go that way. Come on, brain. We've gotten through this much. Stay with me, man. Okay, that's gonna have to be that. Uh, that makes six. All right. One, one, five. Then I might have messed a bunch of stuff up, but I'll deal with it later. Hmm. Three, one, one. I don't know what's going on there. Four. Can't be there. Um, hmm. That's finished. Three. That's five. That's six. That's six now.
One. Doesn't help me. Could be there. Could be there. That's a three, which means this is eight. That's six. Finished. One is probably up there somewhere. Okay. That's a two. Oh, great. And this is just like a repeating geometric pattern, so that doesn't even... That does not help. Oops. Hmm... I could be anywhere in there. That helped that. Ah, that's gonna be something. So that's gotta be that. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're so close to the end of this. I can taste it. Let's see. So this has to be somewhere around here. That finishes that off. Hell yeah, this is so chill to watch, I'm sure. Maybe I'll do a full thing of Picross someday. I'll buy all of them and just do them through. I have the first one, so I could just do a long series of that after I get through the demos, I guess. Although, I mean, if I ever get through the demos, there's so many. Hmm. Two, four, mm, there has to be one there, so that makes seven, which finishes that off. I think I might have messed up that area. Mmm, boy. Five. Well, I can't fit seven in this bottom pit, so that's I can close that off. Either direction. Mmm. Finish that row. Nearly finished that row. Those won't connect for four. Uh, that's one, which means that that's got to be that. Which means that's got to be that. That's seven. One, two... Five, one, one. And oh, we're right at the end. Oh, man. Oh, boy. It's coming. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, my arm itch. Okay. Mm, both sides of that. I believe I messed that row up, so I'll come back to that in a minute. Those are done. That one's done. 
That one's done. That. Okay, there are three rows that I messed up here, so let's see what I did. Two, seven, eight. Um, okay, these connect, so that means it's probably messed up here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I just messed up, like, one specific line. Okay, I did it! What are we calling this? Air show. Holy crap, 27 minutes, and I didn't pause really at all in there. That was like a full solid half hour thing. Oh, I went way further over time than I expected to, but um, yeah, I really need to use the bathroom, so let me get through my spiel as quick as possible. So, thank you for watching this, whether it's in the past, present, or future. If you're watching this in the future, please take the time to come and watch live. I'd really appreciate it, and it would really help out the channel a good bit because I gotta get those three average viewers to uh, get to affiliate, so you know, try it out. Uh, if you miss the beginning of this and would like to watch it in the future, like those folks, you should check out the past broadcast tab for the last 60 days worth of streams, or down below I have linked Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which is a YouTube channel, where I have all of my streams I've ever done. You can watch them all right there. I also have my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape. I just posted an unboxing of Kids Table Board Games Fossilis. Uh, I posted some other stuff, and I, I have a lot of stuff ratcheting up. Over the next few weeks, I, I got quite a bit uh, queued up, so please subscribe there, check it out. If you wanna catch future streams, there's a schedule down below that says what game on what day. If you click the icon right there with the lion, uh, and go to the schedule tab, it will show you what game and what time on what day, but that's all subject to change, so if you want to make sure you don't mess it, follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid and turn on notifications. I tweet out every time I go live, or follow me, that's the heart, uh, here on Twitch. If you have an account, it's free for you. The account is free, so the whole thing's free, and it helps out the channel a great deal, so I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing, and you can set it up and get the app so that you can get notified every time I go live as soon as I go live. With that said, I'd like to thank you once again for inviting me to your home, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, your game console, however it is you watch today. I really appreciate you tuning in. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll join me tomorrow at about 8 for some Pokemon Shield. We're going to be going to the next gym real soon. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's what's happening. And if no one else, if no one has ever told you this, I'll tell you this right now. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Join me tomorrow at 8 o'clock for more stream. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night.